Hi, Bonnie Saratori, Spiritual Acceleration. This is our May update. Let's see what's coming in May. All right, so when I first start tuning into May, I see, ooh, what is this? I, I'm seeing some, okay, I have to talk it out because I'm seeing an energy that's coming through. It's almost like I see a lot of light and then I see something else coming through that light. And then I see underneath that, there's some darker energy, okay? So I just need to get a sense of what's really going on here. Okay, so it looks like a lot of that lighter energy that I'm seeing, um, okay, got it. Okay, so there's, so for some people, there's gonna be a real lightening up, meaning there's gonna be so much more light, more bright, lots more people feeling like um, happy, uh, like the weather, good things outside, uh, experiencing connections, communications, things of that nature, but also at the same time in the world, there's going to be uh, even more struggles, even more intensity, even more pain, uh, a lot of hurt, a lot of um, heartache, heartbreak, intense intent for some people, depending on where they are and where you are with um you know, your, your ability for food, for having money, things of that nature, uh, it's going to be kind of in an intense time. And then underneath that, the dark line that I'm seeing coming through May is there's going to be more intensity. Hang on, is this hunger? Yeah. There, okay. So some places there'll be more hunger happening. So let me just kind of, cause this is actually for the, the world, so to speak, you know, it's for everybody. And Globally, so there's globally, there's going to be some really intense, intense energies happening. Um, a lot of, uh, like I said, people being hungry, not good. Okay, so this is the big, kind of like the beginning of May. I see it coming like towards, the, you know, it doesn't quite start in April, but come that first part of May, that's when this energy starts to present in that way. Now, when I go through the month of May, just to gain a sense of. You know, we go through, this is the, uh, the month for Mother's Day as well. So we're coming through. And as I go into more into the mid part, like, so that first part is probably about 10, 12 days. And then we start going into the mid part of May. And that's when I see, well, okay, the, the, all the peoples that were experiencing lightness, happiness, connection, joy, things of that it starts to squeeze down, meaning, you know, there's a big opening of lots of light, then it starts to go down like this, okay? So that means less and less people will be having that kind of experience. Um, the other frequency of struggles, uh, it starts to rise up, and then also the really dark stuff, that kind of keeps, you know, actually that doesn't get worse for a little bit. That kind of, oh, it kind of wanes a little bit, got it, yeah. So some of the hunger stuff will kind of wane a little bit, it doesn't go away, it's still there. And then that middle part, you know, the people that are struggling in a different way, that, that expands a little bit more. But then again, like I was saying, the people that are experiencing a lot of lightness, that starts to thin out, okay? So then when we get more towards the end of May or that mid, third, fourth, third week of May, oh, what happens? Okay, then they heard, oh, we hit a wall, what's that? Oh, okay, so there's, all, there's like an energy wall energy, meaning, Here's all this energy going this way, and then, then boom, boom, boom. Everything kind of hits the wall, okay? So in that wall, then there's a different kind of shift planetarily. Okay, there must be some planets and different things lining up. Yeah, and yeah, so when I go past that, whoa, okay. So when I go past that, interesting. The energy is kind of the same, meaning there's no longer that those line, lines of energy, those three lines of energy that I saw going through, or not lines, but uh, uh, frequencies of energy. And then everything seems to go more of an equality, but doesn't mean that that means people that were up here will be hungry. It just means that things are starting to mellow out a bit. I think the intensity gets less. We start moving into more of, you know, like warmer months for some part of the world. And in that there's also something with um, somehow there's actually more more food starting to happen right through here. Yes, more food. Okay, yes. Um, unfortunately, when I'm looking at prices and you know like food prices and all that kind of thing, even though uh, things starts to come back, more supply, prices are not going to come down. They're not going to come down. They're going to you know there's something about the prices. 
keep rising a little bit. Okay, so it makes it more challenging for a lot of people that are struggling financially to be able to buy food. Okay, so that it means you'd be buying foods that are more bulk kind of stuff, okay? you know, rather than like fresh, fresh stuff, fresh foods, fresh meats, things of that nature. Okay, and then when I'm I'm checking just to see what's happening, um, like the weather, because I know we've been having different, remember, lots of different weather things happening. So when I'm looking at the at May for the weather, you know, because I know a lot of people, you know, they're ready for spring, they're ready for sun, they're ready for shifts and changes. So, mm -hmm, okay, good. Oh, what was that? Okay, so I'm seeing, okay, is there more tornado stuff, a hurricane kind of, tornado kind of things happening? Yeah, there's certain areas, there's areas where there's still threats of, like um like tornado kind of stuff not not as bad okay yep so there's more of a mellowing out of the bad of the intense weathers I'm looking at okay we're going through rain throughout like the United States different parts of the states we got a lot of is there going to be a lot of rain no okay so it looks like the the intense weather that we've been experiencing in parts of the United States are going to start to mellow out okay they go go not they're going they're never going to go back to what we thought was normal okay there's been a shift but there is more of a, a, and less intense, less like wiping out. Oh, what was that? I just saw something. Yeah, okay. So because of all the snow things, oh my goodness, people, because of how much snow like California got and different areas, especially in that, you know, where, where they were really needing water and needing snow, massive. Now I'm just seeing lots of, oh, wow, mud stuff, mud, mud slides. I mean, that's gonna be happening like, in the early part of May, a lot of intense kind of weather stuff happening, melting snows, floodsing, floodings, uh, mud, mud stuff, you know, things getting wiped out. Whoa, house again. Yeah, things going, 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 going. You guys, there's something else I just presented too, and it has to do with the, the melting of the, like the glaciers, you know, the, the, the northern parts of the world and also even under the southern parts where there's, we have these ice part, our ice, snow, glaciers, more rapid melting, oh, more rapid, I'm sorry, more rapid helping melting. I just saw critters, I just saw animals going, you know, more hunger for the, crit, for the you know, the animals that are, that live in these habitats that live, this is where they survive, more death, more stuff by dying off of critters. Um, but then, you know, there's a lot of like intense uh, damage done to different parts of, you know, the, the West, Western parts of the of, uh, United States. And, and then I do see there's something about what's happening on the Eastern parts of the United States. Something, this is May, show me May. Yeah, okay, then there's, mm -hmm, there's something Looks like what looks like we could get more lot like a lot more rain and more rain happening on our side. Well, I'm in the East Coast, so not East Coast, but I'm in Georgia. So I'm in that eastern part of the United States. So it just looks like more, more like rain here and there coming in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so with the weather, and then people are probably wondering too, what's happening war-wise, you know, fight, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, again, I still don't see any kind of nuclear stuff happening. Um, but I can see tensions, like tensions start to happen, getting even more intense with, um, you know, with the things that are happening. Um, this is like around the world, even different parts of the world where there's already a dissension, where there's already conflict, where there's already fighting. <clears throat> That's going to get even, even more intense. Our, the, our United States Looks like they're, oh, this is interesting. Looks like they're trying to hide the intensity that's actually happening. There's some really intense things starting to happen and happen with the conflict, okay? With the United States, with going into the Ukraine area, the, the Russia thing, all that energy. There's more like an intensity thing happening, okay? So May, let me just check. Is there gonna be kind of outbreak? I mean, no, there won't be, we won't be joining a war. We're not gonna, that's not what's gonna be happening. So just know that again, we're not at this moment. I just, yeah, so, um, uh, you know, there'll be a more of a calming down of some of that conflict. <clears throat> and, but still there's, we you know the United States is still trying to defuse stuff. Uh, it's trying to, is there a little, what was that? A little bit of backpedaling with the United States. You know what I mean? It's like, they're saying they're not doing things and yet they are. That's, I mean, not they, it's our country, but we're not the ones doing it. And 
there's uh you know there's movement there's pushing and there's back pedaling trying to you know indicate that things are not really as bad as they really are or then we're not doing what we're not stepping into the war that kind of stuff so again we're you know that won't be happening in may there's no no war happen no outbreak of war for us happening uh there still will be support and uh you know sort of supporting the ukraine but basically our country won't be stepping in okay um yeah, so people, there's uh, for people on an emotional level, your 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 joy levels, your happiness levels, um, depending on where you are in that. When I was describing earlier, I saw lots of light for some, lots of intense for others, and then really grief and for for the the other frequencies. That's all over. That could be that's in the United States. It's global. It's all around the world. So it just depends on where you are financially, mentally, emotionally. So if you're pretty stable, feeling, you know, that you've got uh, financial, you know, you're doing fine financially and, and emotionally, then it's going to be an easy journey, but then others are going to feel pretty intense. It's going to get pretty intense for others. Okay. All right. And <clears throat> for May, again, it's Mother's Day. So there's a lot of energy. <laughs> a lot of, this is an opportunity too. It's like bringing up a lot of mom issues. So, you know, people, here's the thing. This time period is really about bringing up whatever's in your subconscious, healing and unraveling and purging out your subconscious so that you can open your heart and live more free and share the gift of you, the true authentic you, which is what we all want. We want it each other. We want it from ourselves. But this is this is the journey, people. So whatever's happening in your world, if you can open your heart, take the ride, got heartache, heartbreak, cry it out, let shatter, whatever you got to do. Because that's how that's how you're going to release all these energy frequencies. Okay, yes, we're going to do an activation. Okay, hang on. All right, so I'm going to do a little activation. I'm going to do a little activation in the heart chakra. I'm going to do a little bit of unplug. Okay, because people, this is life, death, survival. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, just yeah, yeah, just receive the activation. I'm going to activate that first chakra, but I'm actually going to blast it for a moment with the white flame. We're going to get a lot of debris out of here, a lot of fe feelings of survival, helplessness, hopelessness, that kind of energy. Dissolve even more of that energy, clearing that. Light, 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 clear, blasting, 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 Sa there we go, good. Now I'm gonna go right into the heart chakra, right there, I wanna, we're, we gotta get these hearts open, people, no matter what, we gotta get the heart open. Now I'm going right to that heart, now I'm gonna be putting in the white flame for a moment in these deep places where you're still believing, holding on to, wanting to hide out, uh, feeling that you don't belong, you don't matter, you're not loved, you're not wanted, those kinds of energy frequencies, and even those who are feeling like they are part of the world, they do belong, they're still holding back, hiding who they are. So now I'm just gonna go right into that heart chakra, activating that, using the white flame, white flame, white flame, white flame, Holy Spirit coming in, blasting that, amp it up, blast it, blast it. Yes, it's the new paradigms happening. Activating, activating, suck. activating, activating, suck. Yes, 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 yes. Clear, 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 clear. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to pull you out of that hiding place, pull you out of your pain, anguish, feeling not enough, not loved, coming out, out, out. There we go. There you are. There you are. Yes. Light, 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 light all around you. No one bringing in that frequency of pure, of unconditional love and light right into these aspects of you in your heart. There we go. Light. There you go. There we go. There we go. All righty. Very cool. All right, let's see how this helps out for the month of May. See you next time.